So, I wanted to come on here because I wanted to give my thoughts on some uh, information that came out recently in the past several days when it comes to this double historic Hollywood strike with the actors and the writers. And it seems like, let's be honest, this is a game of chicken. Let's, let's be honest. It's like who's going to, you know, who's going to swerve first to avoid a head-on collision or head-on accident or, and stuff like that. You know, that that's what this is. That's what it is. It's like who's who's going to who's going to basically flinch first and everything. You know, it's a game of chicken. It's a game of chess. Like who's like from a chess perspective, it's like who's going to move, you know, first and make the first mistake to get checkmated and stuff like that. And, you know, you can have the CEO of Netflix come out and say, hey, I, I understand where you're coming from. You know, my father was, pump, was once part of the union and stuff, and he's been through what you've been through. You know, you can come out and say that. And you, if you're a CEO of Netflix or any other streaming service, and you, you know, you can come out and say that. But what you need to do is have your actions speak louder than your words. Like, if you say you understand where they're coming from, then do something about it. You know, give them what they want, or at least come to an agreement. Like, like I mentioned before, you know, maybe say, hey, you know, for the rest of this year, you know, you and the writers will get thirty-five percent each of the monthly re monthly subscription revenue, while we, you know, at Netflix and all the other streaming services will take thirty. And to me, that's honestly a fair, you know, fair deal from a residual standpoint. And then maybe to make up for that next year, you know. You know, uh, basically have it evolve into a situation to where now all the streaming exclusive programming, movies and shows, you know, end up getting VOD releases and physical releases as well, and maybe even shown, you know, broadcast on cable networks like HBO, like like Showtime, like Paramount, you know, CBS, you, you know, CW, you name it. You know, ABC, NBC, you know, just to, just to, you know, uh, fill in that gap, like, you know, okay, you know, here's the deal. They'll be exclusive for about a month, 30, 90 days, a month or three, you know, 30 to 90 days, and then just move them, you know, over to VOD, physical release, you know, to make up for the residuals, as well as even, you know, even shop them around and put them on the networks that maybe you own, you know, outright. You know, so that way they get a broader audience and the actors and actresses get what they want. You know. Sorry, sorry about that, but, like, you know, just, you know, do something like that and it kind of works out in the end. But right now it's a game of chess and chicken. You know, basically, like, chess-wise, who's going to make the first you know, move and then get checkmated for it, basically the first mistake, and who's going to flinch first before having a head-on collision? I mean, you, you hear all these reports like the AMPTP and all the Hollywood studios plan to starve out, you know, financially the writers, you know, not so much the actors, but the writers, because, the, you know, the writers don't have that leverage that the actors, the producers, and directors do. Um, you know, you hear, and then suddenly you hear reports in the past, you know, several days that, and it's been proven outright, a lot of evidence goes against, you know, what Universal is saying, that basically all the trees that are in front of Universal Studios, you know, and everything, where, they, where the strikers are picketing and everything, you know, the actors and the writers, a lot of those trees have been trimmed, you know, all of a sudden. And it's like, why were they trimmed? You know, it's like, you know, you have the mayor coming out and saying, this is, you don't really do trimming of trees like this until the fall because you know you know like October and everything because of the fall season the winter season and all that you don't you don't do it until then but yet all of a sudden you know ironically this you know they decide to do it now I mean and what's the reasoning and the reasoning is because oh uh, we, we use you know they and what's the reason that you know they come up uh, wait, wait, hold, on, hold on for a second all right sorry about that Almost got tongue tied, but because I'm also having my security camera on, so you know my mom's here and she's watching the news, so I don't want to, you know, I want to be prepared in case you know she interrupts. Uh, anyway, 
anyway, uh, point is, uh, point is, uh, you know, it's kind of ironic, you know, that this is happening, this time of the retreat swimming happening, and, you know, uh, you know, essentially, you know, you have Universal coming out, even though there's a lot of evidence, you know, that's going against them, what they're saying. You have Universal coming out and saying, oh, this is something we just uh, always had planned, and the timing's just uh, coincidental, that's it, and no, it definitely, definitely, it looks like it's a it's a chess move, you know, if you will, by Universal to try to checkmate the actors and the and the writers who are striking. You know, that's what this is. It's all about strategy. It's like who's going. Like I said, it's a, it's a game of chicken. It's a game of chess. You know, it's all about who's going to flinch first. Who's going to make the first mis first move that's going to be a mistake on the chessboard first. Who's going to do that? You know, who's going to, who's basically going to get scared first? Who's going to basically, you know, make the wrong move and get checkmated first? That's what this is. Whether people want to look at it that way or not, that's what it is. It's a game of chicken. It's a game of chess. You know, you could say it's not, but it is. Sorry about that again. But like I said, you could say that. You know, you could say it is or it isn't, but it is. Let's be honest. That's that's exactly what this is. It is a game of chicken, or it's a game of chess. Chicken wise, you know, it's you know like two cards heading a head on. Who's going to flinch first? And chess wise, it's basically who's going to make that first crucial mistake and get checkmated. That's what this is. And Universal coming out and doing what they're doing, you know, um, to basically, you know, checkmate. And cause or cause the, the strikers to flinch, you know. Universal coming out and you know doing what they did with the trees, you know, despite their, despite them basically denying it and with denying it, even though there's a lot of evidence that shows that's not true. You know, you, this is Universal. This is Universal's way of, of basically saying, you know, okay, this is what we did did uh, to checkmate you to cause you to flinch. Let's see what you do next. It's your move now. Are you going to cause us? What's your move to cause us to flinch? What's your move that's going to cause us to get checkmated? That's what this is. That's what this is with with this whole situation, and including the construction in the sidewalk area, you know, in front of Universal, and all that. That usually the picketers would be walking across to try to get the point across. You know, that's being disrupted because of construction by Universal. You know, by Universal and everything, causing the picketers and everything to walk into the road, where apparently some two picketers got hit already by cars. But obviously, from I guess the reports, you know, no other, well, no other reports I should say. I guess according to no other reports out there, they're okay. But according to reports that came out, they would even even if they are okay, which it sounds like they are, you know, they will still hit. So again, it's all a game of chess. It's all a game of chicken, you know, when it comes to this entire situation. You know, and if it's not Universal that makes some, a move like this or not, it's going to be Warner It'll be studios like Warner Brothers. It'll be studios like Disney, believe it or not, Paramount. It'll be studios like Amazon, Netflix, you know, despite what they may say and like, you know, and coming out and saying, hey, we understand where you come from. You know, it's going to be studios like Apple. They're all going to basically... You know, do what they can strategically from a chess match, chicken kind of perspective to try to make that, to try to make the writers and the actors flinch. That's what they're going to try to do. And they may not go the route that, you know, Universal did, despite Universal denying the fact that they did that on purpose. And because all evidence points to the, the fact that they did, you know, uh, this, you know, this, you know, despite them denying that, other studios will use different, if not similar methods. To try to, you know, cause to try to checkmate the strikers, to try to cause them to flinch in this game of chicken, because they know that if they can accomplish one of those scenarios where they could cause the strikers to make a move, they get them checkmated, or do something that causes them to make the first flinch out of scaredness and everything, the studios, you know, they know that if they can do something that cause that to happen, that basically their point will be proven. That hey, we're the ones that run things, not you. You take what we give you, 
and learn to deal with it, you know, and allow us to work on something better for the future so that the next time we negotiate, we can give you what you want, if not more. That, that's what this is with the studios, you know, and the actors and writers strikes. You know, it's basically a game of chess. It is a game of chicken. You know, it's go, who's basically from the chess perspective, it's who's going to make the first mistake, you know, first from a, you know, strategic move portion on the chessboard. And chicken wise, it's basically who's going to, you know, come on in, in like for a head collision like this, but then flinch to avoid that collision. That's what it is. That's what it is in the long run, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are on this whole situation. Essentially, this game of chess, this game of chicken between both sides. And what are your thoughts on this trimming of the trees and the obstruction of the sidewalk from Universal Studios? You know, even though, and with Universal denying it, even though all evidence points to the fact that they actually did do it on purpose and all that. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on the fact that other studios may implement similar strategies? you know, in the process maybe to try to get the point across. And who do you think is going to flinch first? Who do you think is going to make that first, you know, strategic mistake on the chessboard first in this uh, uh, fight between both sides? Let me know down below in the comment section as well as in the live chat during the premiere. Like the video. Super chat to open in the live chat. Also check out BWS to discuss this podcast. All your favorite all your podcast locations except for Pandora, but more specifically on Spotify. It would be greatly appreciated. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. But let me know what your thoughts are.